Minister for Social and Community Development, Housing and Gender Affairs, Philip Tellesford, says financing must first be secured for his government's housing project. Regarding the Chinese low-income housing houses already constructed, Tellesford adds that they will have to treat with those in an equitable manner. But in respect of our, uh, of our policies as to where we go with that, we have said that we want to do uh, at least 500 houses, Grenadian-style houses, that um, our people are accustomed to, not necessarily apartments as what is currently, uh, you know, to be, to be given out. So we have to look at that, identify the, the place where that can be done, um, look at designs and, and, and all of that and, and start the process. Getting an appreciation of what's before him, building partnership with managers is the approach Telesford says he intends to take. Monday was his first official day at his new office. What we did, we met with all the managers for the respective units and so um, we looked at everything, you know, um, of course these are high level meetings so we did not drill down into the details um i've been looking at some of the reports when i returned to office um, this afternoon i started looking at these reports again and um, being able to drill a little further down into seeing what is what is there but presently what i'm doing now is really speed reading so i'm kind of getting a general sense as to how the offices function what they are engaged in and when I'm complete with a high level reading then I will have a one-on-one -on -one with some of the, the leaders in the various departments. Already work has been cut out for some within various departments as a means of charting the way forward. We've already mandated those in the planning sec section to um, start looking at the budget so all of the managers now will be um, starting to pull the, the, the various um, pieces together. Of course, in tandem with our manifesto, because we want to ensure that our campaign promises and our policy agenda is well embraced within the new budget framework that is going to be, going to be um, undertaken within the short period of time. So. Following the receipt of his appointment as minister for that ministry, Tellesford told the media that special emphasis will be placed on the elderly and differently abled individuals and that he will not attempt to disrupt the present programs which must first be assessed. In my view, things have to continue as they are for now because we want to ensure that people are protected first and foremost. So we will not interrupt the process unnecessarily. What we want to do is to ensure that there is a smooth flow of information and of knowledge and of, of, of the program, whether it's uh, finances or whatever has to happen. We want to ensure that that process continues while we examine what is there. Yeah? And then incremental change can be made so as to prevent any discomfort. The Social and Community Development Minister will be assisted in this ministry by Senator Gloria Thomas. She believes the Prime Minister's selection is an appropriate one, citing her acquaintance in that field. With that selection, I think um, I'm aptly placed to continue because I understand the issues. I understand the issues at the community level and I think um, with my guidance as of the minister, there will assist in um, improving the program and ensuring that we lift the whole social services that we offer for our people. Christina John, GBN News.